Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. Today we'll be taking a look at ESAT Internet Security. We'll be doing the regular test with the automated script. The results will be on the website, the PCSecurityChannel.com. There's also the full test method there. So if you want to know anything about the test, how it's conducted, why I'm doing certain things, please check that out first before you ask any questions. It'll be really helpful. If you wanted to see some other content, don't worry, I have a lot of things on the list. We will have some more Meet Malware videos and security talks coming up. But since this review has been in the back burner for a long time, I just wanted to finish it. Let's get started. So as usual, I'm going to start with um, phase one. We'll do a quick check for updates while we grab our samples. The protection is paused temporarily. Again, if you want to know why, please check the full documentation on the website. So the update was successful. Right time to turn the protection back on so we can get started with the test. And there we go. I'll delete any files that are found. That's the end of phase one. We have a proactive detection of 95.6%, which is really impressive. I didn't see any weird behavior. I'm guessing the system is clean, but we will do a second opinion scan just to be sure. Looks like the second opinion scan has some nasty surprises for us. We do have two pieces of Trojans that infiltrated the system, one of which is running after startup. So that is a big problem. This does mean that ESAT does not get a clean sheet. And this is only phase one. Might be unfortunate, but um, it's pretty evident here that this is malware, Firefox Dead EXE masquerading as Apple software update. At least pick up a company that you want to masquerade as, right? Either Firefox or Apple software update, it can't be both. But this malware tried to do both and it didn't fool me, but fooled ESA. So that is not a good sign. Personally, I'm actually unsure whether or not to continue to phase two because I think the rules were that if a product fails phase one, it does not go to phase two because the results aren't satisfactory. Now, the funny thing is the malware didn't actually do anything that I can see. Of course, that's not necessarily what malware does. It could be doing a bunch of stuff in the background that I can't see. It's not ransomware, so my data is safe. Or if it is ransomware, it's dormant. So I guess we will proceed to phase two. However, the compromise is even if it does block everything in phase two, we're not giving it a clean sheet because it just let in two pieces of malware in phase one. But for the purpose of your entertainment, we will actually go ahead and run the other thousand samples that I have. All right, it's already detecting stuff. Time for phase two, let's get started.
Oh no. The test is still underway, but I'm already being annoyed with this prompt from server. Looks like uh, we have been hit by ransomware and ESAT was unable to protect us. And now we have tons of ransom messages popping up. This is horrible news. I was actually considering adding ESAT to my list of featured products. Well, maybe not. Definitely not after this result. The protection seems to be very much hit and miss. So it either blocks files, it does seem to have a pretty good proactive detection, but for the files that it doesn't block, it does absolutely nothing. There are no partial blocks, no blocks with user intervention, and I think that is a big downside, especially these days with so much zero-day malware out there. I used to recommend ESAT for um, situations where you want kind of automated protection, but I'm not so sure anymore because you definitely do not want to have this happen to your system. Ransomware is kind of the worst that can happen to you in terms of a malware attack. You lose all your data. And with the amount of AVs and competition out there in terms of ransomware protection, I really don't see why you would use something that could let this happen. It's just unacceptable to me at this point of time. I'm sorry, Seth. I'm not even going to bother finishing up with the test. This is a fail for me. And for those of you who are disappointed, I'm with you because I kind of liked ESAT, but I'm sorry. If it doesn't perform well in the test, it doesn't perform well. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm pretty interested to see what you think of it. Am I being too harsh on ESAT? Have I gone too easy on them in the past? I don't know. This definitely did come as a surprise. I hope you enjoyed the video though. Do check out the Peace Security channel for the comprehensive results and comparisons with other products, and I'll see you in the next video. Please like and share if you enjoy my content. This is Leo, thank you for watching, and as always, stay informed, stay secure. And I hope you never have to see a system like this, especially not your own, and even more especially if you've paid a ton of money for premium security.